Hey Barrel Dreams community, my name's Brian. Today we're gonna to show you how to build the Barrel Dreams Lover's Bench. Uh, there's a few things you're gonna need for this project. These are deck screws, one and five eight star bit, two inch deck screw, three inch deck screw. Deck made at Home Depot sells these boxes. You're gonna need a star bit and a power drill, and you're gonna need a countersink pointer and a power drill. Or you can use one power drill and just switch the bits and you're gonna need a circular skill saw. Let's get building. So just for uh, purposes of making this video as easy as possible, we actually kind of already have a slightly assembled bench here. So I'm gonna show you how we made it and got it to this point. And you guys at home can kind of freestyle any uh, measurements, add an inch or subtract an inch, or maybe it will be longer. You can do whatever you want, but uh, this is gonna give you kind of an idea of where to begin and how to start. So Alyssa, let's get closer here and let's start with attaching this long base piece to the, to the legs, okay? And basically all you're gonna do, you're coming up about 14 inches from the ground to where the bottom of this piece is gonna be, and you're just gonna put in one, two, three, four screws, okay? And you will have successfully attached the base to one of the legs, okay? Now you have to go to the other side, and remember it's 14 inches from the ground all the way to the bottom of the base, and you're gonna attach one, two, three, four screws again into the other post. Look again, it's a, from the bottom, it's 14 inches to the bottom. This is the third leg that we're attaching. You can see there's four screws there. And then you can cruise over here, Alyssa. And here it is again on the fourth leg, one, two, three, four. So you now have four legs that are attached to the base piece. We're now gonna connect this piece with these screws here. And there's one, two, three, and there should be a fourth here. I'm gonna drill that right now and show you guys. Attaching the side base piece to my, my leg. I'm gonna go right in here with the countersink, and then I'm gonna take my three inch deck screw, my three inch star bit deck screw, and I'm gonna go right on it. Wow, that's on tight. Wow, that's great. So now I have the base piece built. I'm gonna do it on the other side. And cruise over here, Alyssa. There's, see, one screw, two screw, three screw, and then I'm gonna go four, and then I'm just gonna go with a three inch screw right in that hole to make it look like this. Okay, so now that we have our four legs that are on the outside with the base built, okay, you should now be able to jump on this thing. It's strong, okay? Feels good. We're now gonna be attaching the back part. So this is where your artist skill comes into play. If you look close, I kind of fan them out. I have the centerpiece with the bunghole kind of in the middle, and they kind of fan out like a king and queen's chair, okay? So let's attach these pieces. Screws over here. Just to, for, to speed up the video, I've actually already put this up and kind of started fanning them out. And I've cut a line here at the end just for show. Remember, your staves that you're getting are a little longer. So I cut them and I put a screw here and here, here, and here. See how nice and clean? These are two inch screws, two inch deck screws. Okay, and just for fun, if you really wanna know the distance that we use here at the shop from the floor to the very top, you know, that's looking at about 45 inches. So 36 plus 10, yeah, I'm sorry. 46 inches from the very top of the chair to the ground. 46 inches, you can play with that number if you want, higher or lower. Okay, so now we're gonna attach the seating part. 
Um, if you look close, the stave has a little point on it. I usually keep those uh, out here. Um, for this purpose, we've cut these staves to 18 and a half inches. And all you're gonna do here is just take them and screw them in. There's a two inch screw there, two inch screw there. Then I'm gonna come here with this piece, two inch screw there, two inch screw there. And then the last piece, okay? Kind of make it look nice here at the front, nice and even, little finger spaces. So your friends will think you're cool by having it nice and clean looking because that's the idea. Now we're gonna be attaching the side tables that you're gonna be putting your beer and your wine on. Um, they're gonna kind of slide right on in this section and we, we do that with a wine barrel top that comes with your kit. So we have to cut this, first we have to brace this top. So this is the tan side on the bottom. This is the wine side. You can pick any side, it doesn't matter. Um, and we're gonna be putting this brace on it. So here's, here's a, a brace. We have to get ready to put these screws. These are one and five eighths deck screws that go in each stave slat part. So, okay, see what I'm doing? I'll just zoom in here. Um, you see where the lines are in here? Every single line, every single slat has to have a screw in it. Otherwise, the, the, the uh, side table will break. Okay, so see what I'm doing? Okay, so if you look close, I have my screws in a nice straight line on every stave, every slat here, there's a screw. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna find the center point of this right here. And it looks like it's right about, you know, right about here, I'm gonna draw a line down the center. And uh, this is where I'm going to be cu cutting this piece, exactly down the center. Okay. I'm just gonna cut this piece in half. That, remember I drew that line? Okay, now that we got our halves made, okay, we're just gonna kind of line it up so that's equal distance here as it is in the back. Draw a line here, I'm gonna draw a line here, and then that distance is three and a half. So I'm gonna go three and a half inches to right here, three and a half inches, and then I'm gonna go here along this line, three and a half inches to right here, okay? And then, watch what I do. Come over here, look what I'm doing now. I'm drawing a nice straight line down to the three and a half mark, and then I'm going all the way to the end. See that little square I'm making? I go in here, and I'm going here. Okay? Now I'm gonna cut this. Take my skill saw. We've cut our side table piece. We're just gonna chuck it on in here. That was definitely the hardest part of the bench, but it's nice to have a fun side table. And I'm just gonna Go, go here, and then I'm gonna go 
Then I'm gonna go here. And then I'm just gonna take my three inch deck screw. These are three inches, okay? And then you're gonna be screwing it into this piece right here. Make sure that the, it's level when you're screwing it in. Now we're gonna do this one. Okay. That's good. So, go team. Here, you wanna do three? Ready? Let's do three screws. So. There, nice and solid. See? Go team. Okay, so now we have the side table pieces on. It's the last part is to attach the arms. So I take the point of the stave and I point it towards the front. And I usually just keep it, you know, about two finger lengths out. So right here, okay. And then I come here and I do the same thing, you know, about, about like two finger lengths here, okay. And then I'm gonna screw in here. One with my pointer and then two. And then I'm gonna take my three inch screw. Okay, just like that. Okay. Okay, so the bench is now built. I'm just gonna take the last cut here and get the excess arm piece cut off. So follow me here. Take my skill saw. That, and I'm gonna come over here. And I'm gonna do the same thing right here on this side. my lover? Will you be my lover and sit with me on the Barrel Dreams lover bench? Go team. So now that the lover's bench is built, the last thing you want to do is sand it uh, super soft. You might have got a Cabernet stain or you might have gotten a white Chardonnay uh, barrel, doesn't matter, but sand everything super soft and then apply four coats of polyurethane um, or an oil. It doesn't matter. A lot of the wood finishes are the same, but polyurethane is the most uh, protective and the strongest if you're keeping it outside or if you're keeping it inside, maybe an oil, uh, a wood oil clear coat uh, looks really nice. So sand it, stain it, and sit in it and send me a photo of you and your lover just kissing in it.